right, so today I'm going to deal with my DE filter, which really stands for diatomaceous earth, but frankly it should stands for doesn't ever, because every single one of them, the grids go bad, and it spews DE all over my pool and lets it turn green like this. All this damn DE all over the place. So, I am over it. Over it, over it, over it. And today is the day that it's going to go away. So, I've got an FNS Plus, which should be a damn good filter. And it's been in for maybe three years, and it's dusting, and, you it, know, it's just, it's a piece of shit. And the aha moment was I was at a friend's place, and I was like, man, your pool's really clear. What do you use? And they were like, oh, we have a cartridge filter. I'm like, really? I'm like, hmm, okay. So, here we go. And I'm tired of dealing with that box of crap, too. So, the good news is I can actually sell this and get a chunk of money out of it. But first, we've got to get it out of here. So, that is the project at the moment, is to get it out of here. filter is a drastically different model. It is a cartridge filter. And, you know, I, I actually downsized to a one horsepower pump because I have a 10,000 gallon pool. Don't need a huge pump. Um, but, I am going to need to make some changes to the way this is plumbed. And, yeah. There are going to be some drastic changes here. that this is going to be drastic and radical to make this work.
And as usual, there's never enough. Um, I never have enough fittings. Never, 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 never. Not in a million years. So, and on top of that, this is set up backwards. So, this is the discharge side, and the other side's the pump side. I do want to install it this way though, even though it requires a cross. That gives me an opportunity to hang on to this, uh, the way I've got the, some of the stuff set up. Of course I could turn it on these. Okay, so one thing's for sure, this is coming out. Yeah, so I need to go get a T and a three quarter adapter for one and a half. A couple of slip unions. Let me make a list and I'll go shopping. So you need to make sure you get a good coat of Teflon paste. It does come in different colors. Um, different colors typically denote different properties. This is fine for this use. And then you just want to make these firmly hand tight so you don't have the housing or the fitting. Alright, 
that's going to go on the filter inlet. And because it's not installed yet, we're just going to turn it around because it's a whole lot easier to work on it this way. Alright, so that's it. We'll spin it back around. Move this out of the way. So I went to the trouble to cut this fitting up because I can salvage it and reuse it and these are kind of expensive. You know, I mean eight dollars for the union. You know, a dollar, a dollar, so I mean, it's ten dollars I'm saving here, and uh, that adds up. So, what I'm gonna do is just kind of park that there, and I need to go make a small uh, stub to get a 90 in the back side. Uh, I'm gonna work on this first, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna put this glued together first. It's always easier to work on this when it's not. Okay, so lining up pipes is probably one of the trickier parts of doing plumbing. And the easiest way to do that is with a marker. So you mark the pipe. Eh, I'm not going to do that one yet. Um, so you mark the pipe, and then you go cut it. So let me go do that. It's a good idea to dry fit your pipe. So in this case, we're just going to stick that in here. So what we need to do now is establish the level. So let me get my marker. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer it is, the better the results. Alright, I'm going to cut that and I'll be right back. Alright, so once you have your pieces cut, you want to do a dry fit. And with unions, this is easy.
Yeah, I think that's right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this piece first because it doesn't have any alignment. So, I'm going to loosely attach this. And then this next glue up is a little bit complicated. Because I've got to, I've got to glue this and this at pretty much the same time. is where the unions really come in handy because it makes it easy for me to do what I'm doing right here. Hopefully that's done. So now I gotta work on the return side. And there's a little bit going on over here. Alright, so this used to come over here to get into that uh, multi-port valve, and it had a connection off for the Polaris pump. Well, looks like this went in here sideways, so it's probably always leaked. But that's not gonna get recycled. So I'm gonna cut this off pretty close. me to extract this with a minimum of disruption to the hose clamps. And there's a reason for this. You'll see it later. So all that goes to recycle. I don't know how we're going to get back into this yet. I do know that I want to put a union right here. strange feeling that no matter what I do, it's going to leak this filter. But we'll see.
So I'm just going to cut this off. You guys aren't going to be able to see this. I'm just going to cut it off back up under here. So that gives us space to work. And the first thing we want to do is get a 90 in here. Wow, well, or a stub. So, as I've always said, you want to dry fit all this stuff. So if we come off this like this, this. Yeah, let's do that. Grass is a horrible thing to have next to your pool pump, by the way. Because one stupid little leaf of grass can cause a leak. some more stops. So I'll be back in a minute. Over here at the Department of Crazy, all this will make sense in a minute.
we're done with that, we're going to switch to a new can of Crazy Expensive. The trick is to see if we get more glue on the pipe than we do on the ground and on the glove. I'm trying the gloves. This is something new. Alright, that's our return water. Yep, that's the direction it needs to go. I want to keep is the backwash capability and it really it's just a pool water dump but it's set up and I want to keep it So we're going to reduce, not with that we aren't, we're going to reduce this side quarter inch, which is what, oh no, that ain't going nowhere, that's what the Polaris needs. set by now, but I'm going to try and break it. <clears throat> nope. Thermoset.
and we'll let that harden while we determine our next move. Alright, so the next thing is we got to get the water to come back over here. And this is way more turns and bends than I'd like to see. That's okay. Alright. Let me mark this and I'll go cut it. And the gloves work great for keeping um, the crap off your fingers. Okay, so I need to dry fit this piece of pipe. Um, so I'm going to start working on that. Dry fitting this, we're just going to stick this in here. I think that's approximately where it will need to be. And then I'm going to make the other side. So, of course, I do not have another one of these 45 degree fittings. It's the one fitting I didn't buy. So, it's off to Home Depot we go. And we'll be back shortly. Alright, so that's what I had to go get. So, let's get this piece of crap together because, yeah, it's not getting any warmer out. And... I'm going to put a union right here, so I'm going to trim this and get that glued in. Well, I think I'm going to put it there. You know, let me, let me get this situated so I can figure out how this is going to work. You know what? I'm not. I'm going to put the union on this side, so let me get that set up. Alright, so I got all my little pieces cut. Put my gloves on and start pulling stuff together. I hate projects like this because they take all damn day. Probably situations in which I could work faster, but yeah, it is what it is. So if you get a little holiday like that from the saw, you just kind of scrape it off on some cement. I yeah, really am liking this uh, using gloves. With glue.
So you want to hold this in when you push it in, just for a second. Now what we got to do is figure out what this looks like. Almost there. Okay, so a little bit needs to come off that. I need a little bit longer, so I need a piece that's maybe. Let me get something. I'm gonna go get a tape measure because I don't think I have anything else I can mark. Alright, so when you measure something like this, you want to measure a little bit longer. So we're going to go seven and a half. It really looks like it needs to be seven and a quarter, but I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go seven and a quarter. I got plenty of pipe right now. seven and a quarter inch piece and this is why we do a union now you want to watch that you don't destroy the o-ring that's in there and we're just going to stick that in there So I need to take a quarter inch off that. right back. Alright, so I think we're here. <clears throat> Need to take a little bit off this pipe. So I'm going to go take quarter inch off this and I'll be right back. Okay. So, and you'll notice that I have these index marks on here so that I can put this stuff back together exactly the way I have it. And I think that's it right there. So now what I want to do is I want to mark how far in each of these pipes is. start down here with gluing. Get some gloves. Now, if you've got a little bit of water, you really want to use this wet or dry stuff, and you want to be very liberal with the glue. Okay, 
and you see I've aligned my index marks. Now what I'm going to do is come in and take this apart. Point, the only thing left is this one. And we fucked up. Yep, this should have been on here. So let's see if we can fix it before it's too late. It's probably too late already. I managed to stop that just in the nick of time. I had to put it in a vise, and it probably hurt my hands in the process. But I was able to get it apart. So let's start here. And then there. leave that alone and let it cure. Now we're going to work on this side. All right, so the most important part of this is getting a valve on it because at that point we can run it. And I actually do want it to go down there. So I'm going to cut a, another stub because I want to put a union in here. All right, so got my two pieces. I put my gloves on. assemble this backwards.
I was almost done, but I was shanghaied by shitty stock at Home Depot that I didn't double check. I thought I got a female adapter because that was what was in the box and one end was threaded. No, that's not what I got. What I got was shanghaied. Fuck you, Home Depot and your lazy staff. So, uh, get the gloves and I'll do what I can. I think I can salvage this. So, yeah. So, I'm going to salvage this valve. I don't really need a valve here. But I'm going to salvage it. So, what I'm going to do is put this assembly together. I've got a threaded adapter. right there. <clears throat> so, we're going to put this together before it gets slid into this mess. Ugh, I hate monkey grass here. things first. And um, this valve is just a surplus cutoff valve. Alright, so that's good. Now we're going to do this side. Never have grass around your plumbing.
doesn't help that it's cold out. So the hose is fighting with me at every step of the way. All right. And at some point, this hose is going to get replaced. So I'm not even worried about it. But I am going to get all the leaves out of here. see how many leaks we have. So it's going to take a minute to prime. That's no big deal. streaming leaks so far. Guess that's a good sign. Pressure flow looks really good actually. I don't like this moving so I'll cut. Yeah, I'll cut a block of wood for that. But the flow looks really good so let's get this one running. That's the only thing I don't like around these boxes. So I use this a throttle valve and it's on the output side. So we're looking pretty good here. Flow is excellent. It's possible that in a day or two this will actually clear up. There's my requisite blue scum. Um, so I'd call that a success. Uh, that's probably some of the best flow I've seen in ages in this pool. And it looks nasty right now, which pisses me off. Because it's a small pool and it shouldn't be this difficult. Fuck you, Pentair. And your piece of shit. DE filter doesn't ever filter. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video and my whole day of screwing with pool plumbing. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks.